this is Shirley. This is Dream Made Yard, and welcome back. This is a quick little um, cooking video. This is just some cheat sheet cookies, and I want them to be natural. So I am going to make it myself. It's the basic recipe for the um, oatmeal raisin cookies. It's so I'm adding one more, or more, two more items to it. So let's get started. I have all my sugar mixture together. I have my flour. I'm going to add vanilla. And, um, well, that's asked for, but in my, um, mixture here, I have, um, what is my, what do I have here for that? I have, um, the, let me just see that. What is that? I have, um, nut made in it, along with the cinnamon, to my taste, not, to, not according to the thing. And I'm going to add just a little bit of sour cream. In my eight mixture. So let's get started. Listen to my own, sorry for the shower. My own advice it's better if you use the Bob uh, egg replacement in a flat bowl, you know, because it's a lot easier to get the, um, the lumps out of it. So I'm going to take my, I'm using one hand, so hopefully, so hopefully you can hear me. Bit of sour cream here. I have light sour cream. I thought I'd give it a try and see how it come out. Last time I had the vanilla, it came out really good. So I'm going to stir this up. This thing is probably going in and out anyway, but you can see I've already told you my sugar mixture, my flour mixture. Now I have my egg mixture. I'm just going to do this. Which is mix this up really well. Okay, and then we're going to have the oven on 350. We beat it that up in a large bowl. We're going to put the sugar and the our sugar mixture here. Got my sugar mixture right here. And creamy. I just saw that, so I'm just adding the butter. Wondering why it wasn't stirring up. Sour cream with that because it's still sounding crunchy. If you can see, if you can hear, I don't know. I'm sorry, you guys. dab of sour cream so it's not as crunchy sounding as it was before so I like to get a little smoother since I don't have a blender and then at this point you add your oats so oh shoot wait a minute we can add the flour and I'm going to put that in on stages like half of that there we go. You might want to get a, you might want to get a bigger spoon. Um, if you have a blender, it would be much easier. If you hear any noise, that's my neighbors, which is fine with me. Okay. There we go. See that mixed in well? And then we will add the remainder my big spoon now and at this point you might want to change to a larger spoon if you don't have a um a blender and at this point we are putting in our one and a half 
across an uh, acre. Oh, acre. Give me some land. One and a half cups. One and a half cup. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, because it calls for three. And this is for me. So I don't need that many that many cookies because I will just sit there and go back and forth and eat them. So um, I have a too much. Okay, there we go. And do the same thing. This point. Just put in there. Let's try to smush it together. And then we will stir it. We want it to get in there to incorporate it all in there before we put the part, second part in. Okay, so I'm going to do this and put in the second part, which I can put in now. As you can see it's a little bit, it's a lot, but I want to get it in there good. Oops, try not to make a mess. Otherwise, if you do, you just clean it up. Right? I'm doing, I'm pretty sure you can't hear me. I'll probably just put some music over this. I'm going to have to work on this um, volume. Okay, let's see it. So now, I have a... Now I'm going to cut this out. I have a little thing here. I'm going to stay in the light. And we are going to take our... like that. I'll come back. I, I put five in here and I, you know, every oven is different. I think it, the instructions is 50 for 30 to 35 minutes. Okay. I noticed that mine takes about 30 minutes. I'm going to pop this in the oven here and show you what it looks like. Hopefully it looks okay. And then we'll come back. I'm holding this so hopefully you can hear me better. So I'm going to take that and put that. And this is going to be a little difficult. So it says to let it cool for a few minutes, which I will do. But I'm going to do it on top of here and then take them off and let them sit on the rack to get hardened. So basically, I don't tear it up. You with me? You with me? You with me? Sit them up. your pan and I'm going to put in the other batch. I'm going to put these in the oven and we're going to um, take these off and see if we need to see I don't want to crack them. They need to be on the rack to let them cool now. Unless I think the last time, but the time before, they cracked. Okay, we'll let those cool. Look like that, and I, you know, if you don't have a rack, you know, I do, just take your um, can what do you call that? The toaster oven. Take that part, and this part is the bottom part of it. Put the foil on it, and use that rack. You don't have to go and buy something special to do this. You can if you want to, though. I see cookie crumbling. What's that? Oh. <laughs> Good. My cookies got into my hand in there, so don't trip. I'll put these in the oven. This is my second batch, so I am going to put that batch on the plate they're nice and crunchy you can hear that um, these over here all the uh, middle because it got stuck to the paper so the middle came out 
we're gonna see how these taste. I still have one more batch in the oven and a small amount right here. Okay, so let's give this a taste. Sorry for the overhead light. Oh, I gotta get closer. I don't wanna get too close. I have no makeup on and it doesn't matter. I'm at age where I'm almost, I really don't even care anymore. I do care, but I'm at home. I'm cooking cookies. So this is what the batch look like. We are going to try it. Okay, let's see. Well, I tried to um, get some butter, or some milk. Um, milk was in the refrigerator too long. It turned into buttermilk. So maybe tomorrow I'll make biscuits. Really good. Crunchy, light, delicious. Quick. And made a lot for half the, um, using half the, um, recipe. Still made a lot. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.